exciting young bantamweight fighter Jared Papazian is about to get back in the octagon. What up everybody, this is the Jackhammer. I'm back once again at UFC FX3. I'm going to be fighting Dustin Pegg on the uh, undercard. Uh, it's going to be on Field TV. The Jackhammer is confident he can break down the Disciple. He was on the Ultimate Fighter 14, uh, made it to the semifinals. He's a very tough, tough striker. It's going to be another war. I like to bang, he likes to bang, so I think it's going to be another fight of the night. So it's going to be fun. I'm just training really hard. I brought in some really good guys to mimic his style. A lot of Muay Thai guys. I know he likes to clinch a lot and uh, throw that right knee. I brought in Sean Yukubian, uh, Travis Gartless, um, Kenny Florian came down. Uh, he's helping me already get in this fight, uh, helping me already get me ready for this Muay Thai. You know, he's really, really good in the clinch, and I'm really working on my clinch. So if he really wants to get inside a clinch game, let's do it. Bring it. I feel that I have the upper edge at everywhere. I think my stand up's better. I think my ground is better. I think my wrestling is better. But you know, we're going to find out on June 8th. You know, that's, that's what it is. I'm not here to talk, I'm here to fight. And, uh, Everybody knows that I, I come to bring it, and I hope uh, you're training hard, Dustin, because I'm training really hard. People always come up to me and say, you know, you, you mean I'm in the UFC. As I look at it, we're both not in the UFC yet. We still haven't had our first Ws, you know. Um, what I'm going to do on June 8th, I'm uh, going to be giving you your walking papers, and that's uh, that's bottom line. This is my dream. I've been working really hard, and this is I'm going to become a champion, and that's. That's what I'm going to do. So on June 8th, expect your walking papers from Joe Silva and uh, Sean Shelby because you're not winning this fight. Mixed in Jared's skill training, his strength and conditioning, and results fitness. I just got done working with Leo and Christian on uh, strength and conditioning. They got me ready for all my fights since I've been at 135, and they put me in hell of good shape. And uh, this fight coming up, I'm gonna be uh, ready to go. Normally, I, I really overwork my body because I always, you know, want to be in good shape and be ready. Now I'm learning how to do less and rest. Normally, I feel like crap, and then I go into fight, but. Now I'm starting to feel good in, in, in uh, training and getting in enough rest than, I, than before in other fights, so it's going to be good. Papazian is constantly improving and is confident he will move up in the ranks in a division full of talent. The 135 division is so stacked right now. Dominic Cruz, Araya Faber, Renata Burrell, Michael McDonald, he's a beast. Um, Ivan Menjavar, Brad Pickett. I like to work my way back up, work my way up the ladder. I'm just improving every day, and by the time I keep winning fights, I, I believe I'd be able to get that title. I've been working regularly on my jiu-jitsu game with Alberto Crane. We've, all the years that we've uh, been working together, we never went on one-on-one -on -one privately, and now I'm, this is the first time we've done that, and my jiu-jitsu game's just gone tremendously off the charts. I'm subbing people, I'm going for submissions, my ground and pound is unbelievable. So you might see a submission in this fight, or a knockout, or a fight of the night. Either, all three, it's all good by me. Check out my fight June 8th, UFC on FX3. I'm fighting on uh, Fuel TV. Make sure you guys check it out. Godspeed and party on.